Super Spears Brothers. Yeah. Um, I just stepped on your foot, but I just want to let you know that the we left the blinds open to get better lighting in here. Yeah. And now it's getting darker. I think, I think we're letting in too much dark. Oh God. We're well, the Super Spears Brothers. I, nothing we say makes any sense. No. Blig, chore, happy. So we're playing a um. Uh, now this is a game by the guy who made Gunpoint. We like. Are you playing it already? Yeah, I'm playing it already. Uh, it doesn't really have much of an info. It basically just throws you in. It has a little, uh, like Stoda level, that apparently once you do once it just, like, skips. It just skips. Uh, so basically you're this little red dot. Yeah, yeah. And this is free on Steam right now. Yeah. Um, and this is coming out tomorrow, so it will actually whoa, be whoa, accurate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong one. So yeah, the controls are actually kind of really simple. Basically, uh, left click, you you attach to a a thing. Yeah. And right click is you let go. And oh, come on, am I stuck here? No, I can descend. There you go. And see, this has like a little anti gravity thing. We'll see this little bit in the middle. Yeah. So if I'm go that way, then I fall. Up. Down. Oh, down. But this, this way, way I fall up. Right. So is it just unlimited? Like, is there, uh, any, is there any is there any time limits see, or challenges? This is this twenty four left. It's basically just trying to figure out how you get there, and it's, it seems to be randomly generated. I'm not actually sure. Maybe it's like incredibly, like, uh, te uh, technical level design. Yeah, and I'm just an idiot, and I'm just so used to everything being automatically generated. Yeah, it's like. It's like so. I have a Kickstarter, yeah. What? Well, it's it's all you 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 play as a, a donkey, yeah, and you travel through time. All right, all right. I, I'm getting you so far. So it's randomly generated. Yeah, yeah. Didn't well, you hear what I said earlier? Yeah, it's I kickstarted the game. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, yeah. All, all the levels are randomly generated because because Shigeru Miyamoto doesn't have time to make everything for us. Yeah, he's busy. This is like the, uh, this is cool what I'm doing. Do you see it, that? It seems like a lot more fun than like various Spider-Man games. Yeah, this, this is by well, what's the name of the guy who made this? He's the guy who made Gunpoint. I just forgot. Put his name up there. Oh, so uh, so uh, Idris forgot made this. Yeah, uh, Idris Elba. Idris Elba made this game, and he's the guy who made Gunpoint. We really enjoyed Gunpoint, so we thought we'd um, uh, try his latest game out. It is free on Steam, and uh, you should try out Gunpoint as well. But he seems to like uh, games that have the word point in the title. And very minimalist graphics. Very minimal. Well, his, you know, his graphics in Gunpoint, while minimalist, are sort of... They, they really are like... Uh, these are more evocative. Those are actually more sort of... I don't know. There's a... There's a, um, a uh, they look like stuff. Yeah. Uh, I w they actually look quite nice. They look like sort of... Um, Point and click adventure game graphics in Gunpoint. Yeah, which is uh, like, fair enough like a... it's basically a point and click adve action adventure game. Yeah, wow. I, I love the little curvy light things. Yeah, you should. <coughs> oh, I'm following along. You should do a I little keep... bit more to make those trails last and like, like, like. If you could. Oh, oh, I'm getting a phone call. I think this is Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Hello. That was Quentin Tarantino. He's finally going to pick up our script. Um, it, we call it um, uh, Lesbian... Blades of Glory 2. Blades it's of Glory a, 2. The Will Ferrell movie. It's a Will Ferrell movie with um, uh, various uh, vampire hunters all modeled after Blade. Yeah. Um, but um, he, they're actually killing the season 5 villain of um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Glory. Yeah. And they're all going after her and they're all these vampire hunters. Um, and so it's based very closely on season 5 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer but with multiple vampire hunters and they're all male um, except for um, one who gets buried alive yeah and it's pornographic it's very very pornographic mm -hmm. there's a scene where um, our titular get the scene, the yeah, I got that where our titular hero um, Blade 2000 actually has um, uh, oral sex with a elephant yeah and, and he uh, he starts to spin yeah, we really want uh, Tom Green to play the, uh, what was it, the elephant? Sorry. <laughs> it's, we've gone through a lot of redrafts of it. We want, basically, Tom Green to play the elephant. We thought it would be a nice reprise or sort of reversal of his uh, previous thing. of the guy who blows the uh, large mammal. I'm glad we went through that joke. Yeah, no, that was worthwhile. I think that was a good lesson. Anyway, That's floating point. It's a keeper. Boy, did we just turn what was a nice little episode about a, uh, an indie about a, game into basically a comedy abortion? Yeah, basically. I really, I don't know. I love these games that are made by, like, just, like, a single dude. Just, like, like I have an idea for a video game. And you can tell they're single dudes because, like, if they weren't single, they would be spending this time with their children. Yeah, I beat the level. So when are you ready? 
Woo! And then see you fall down to the next graphical oh, level. Oh, wow, that is actually kind of interesting. It's like Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yeah. You I mean, I just stop comparing every single game to Donkey every Kong Country. Kong, Kong, every Kong is like Dong. <laughs> you might want to modify that line, Like, There was no edit. I don't know what you're talking about. You must be drunk on the hooch. We wanted to cut to the specific part because this part that's really different from the previous part is quite interesting. Sorry, I'm just not done playing yet. <laughs> Blake was like, yeah, I think that's enough footage. And I was like, no, I want to play more. And, and the purpose is just to get points and, to, and then the levels are basically arbitrary as far as I can tell. Yeah, I, I can see why this is a free game. Like, it, there's, there's a basic mechanic, which is cool. If you made, I could see you making a really neat platform out of this basically the same mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some of, the, some of these mechanics are kind of in... Um, he knows how to draw lines really well, dynamically. Like, yep. Gunpoint has some nice line drawing of stuff going on. It's too. a weird thing to say, but it is true. Come on, I want to get up there, and then there, and then... This game's swinging. Yeah. I, it, it, seriously, though, the swinging mechanics in this is better than on, like, many of the games about Spider-Man and other swinging characters. Yeah, Spider-Man 2 got it right. Yeah. And none of the games after that. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 was the best one. Um, none of the ones since then seem to have gotten it right, which the is Spider weird. The Spider-Man arcade game didn't get the swinging right, but it was a fun game anyway. The Spider-Man and X-Men game, whatever it is. Yeah, that one. With, like, Hawkeye, who nobody cared about at that time because he wasn't in a Joss Whedon project yet. And he wasn't made sexy by Tumblr. That's right. So, uh, Those are the, really the two ways to get famous now, is for Joss Whedon to make a movie about you, or you... For you to be become sexy on Tumblr. That's basically it, yeah. I'm sorry, 4chan, but Tumblr has taken the place of yours for making nothing but memes. A sci-fi movie where aliens land on Earth, and because they've been studying our culture, the only thing they're able to communicate in is memes. Oh god, so it's like a, a post-apocalyptic nightmare? That's right, post and I thought the alien could be played by 4chan? <laughs> You're just all of 4chan? What do you credit him as? It's like, I don't know, anonymous? That's right. He's like, and it's credit, and it's like, uncredited? I guess. This is officially the last episode of the Silver Super, Super Spears Brothers before we get... Like, covered. hacked into oblivion? Hacked into oblivion. No, because it was originally 2chan, wasn't you know it? What this miss you know what this missing? This game is missing? What? It needs a little bit more of that sort of, um... There needs to be, like, fire and, like, little, like, devils and goblins and stuff down here that don't do anything. Yeah. Just sort of, like... And then up here, there should be, like... Little should, angels and like, Well, no, there should be, like, uh, I don't know, earth-based things. And there should be an upper level, which is, like, a heaven based level and this could be like a real like Dante's Inferno thing there could be nine levels yeah the problem is then you with the gravity switch is the main mechanic of the two levels well when you're in hell you slowly rise up to the earth and just like because because they're running out of room in hell they have to there's no room in hell so they have to the dead have to walk the earth that's blah, right blah, 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 blah. That's so right. you tie it in it's basically a sequel or prequel to Dawn of the Dead hang on I'm gonna call up um, John Romero Tarantino on my phone here Quentin Tarantino Hello? Yeah, sorry, Quentin. I'm getting pretty bad reception. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a sweatshirt. Yeah. No, I can't hear you at all either. Well, it's possibly because you're not really there. <laughs> no, you see, I'm, uh, I'm using my imagination. Yeah. No, okay, it's not real. Okay. Quentin says hi. 